Hello. All right. Finally, we get to talk about this stick. It's the Sherwood T100. I'd like to give a big thank you to Sherwood for the fact that they actually contacted me and they gave me this stick. I'm very proud of the fact that they trust me and that my opinion really matters to them with the fact that they want to send me this. So, uh, big thank you. I really do appreciate it. And uh, you guys really make it fun for me to actually be able to make video reviews and uh, written reviews as well. The written review is already done now. Not very many changes were made to it. I've had this stick for quite a while now. More than, uh, I think a little bit over three months. So we're going to go ahead and just break into it and we're gonna talk about a few points. Of course, we're gonna talk about my first impression. The second one, we're gonna talk about the blade. I will be removing that tape so you can see a little bit closer. Um, I really want to try to highlight a lot of those, uh, you know, any any type of scratches or anything like that. You know, the, the better that we uh, highlight that, the better it is going to be so everybody can see how the stick is going to, you know, perform and or has performed more so and how it's worked out for me. The next one, we're going to talk about the shaft, the flex, the feel. We're really going to try to break it down a little bit um, from how, you know, whether the shaft is round or square, things like that. Then we're also going to talk about stick handling, receiving passes, or sending passes, how it feels, how you react to it, or how it reacts to you. Of course, the main focus is going to be how it performs shooting. That's really, you know, the bread and butter of every hockey player, shooting the puck. I really want to talk about durability. Um, I feel it's very important, especially for the fact that, well, still here, still my number one stick, and uh, all the ones that are just waiting second fiddle are nowhere to be found compared to this one. Uh, I really hope everybody enjoys this. I sure as heck enjoyed of this stick very much. So let's break into it. Of course, here's the specs. It's a 95 flex. This is the grip version. The one with the red is the grip version. Don't be too scared about it. This is not going to be sticky like all the other grip sticks from other uh, brands. The curve is the PP01 Smith. Let me show you what that looks like. Let's try to focus a little bit on it. There you go. It's a nice curve. They have it labeled as a heel curve. I think somebody may have uh, may have mistaken it because it's actually more of a toe, like a mid toe. It's a five lie, which is perfect. I'm a tall guy, I skate more upright. Five lie is perfect. All right, so my first impressions of the stick when I first took it out, obviously you guys got to see the video of me uh, opening it up and uh, it was kind of cool. I mean, look, it's an all black stick. Uh, I'm not saying that it looks plain, I'm saying that because it's an all black stick, it looks a lot more clean. It looks a lot more solid. And um, I, I'd rather prefer using that than some flashy orange and white and gray and silver stick. As far as the tape, why don't we go ahead and just get rid of it right now. And uh, make life a little bit easier for everybody. My tape job is fun, peels off and uh, it lasts forever. This is at least two games. Boo. I'm really excited to talk about the blade. Normally I use pro stock sticks and uh, pro stock blades. They're really nice and stiff and they last forever. Some of them do, some of them don't. Really depends on the player. This blade is easy, easiest, easily the best blade I've ever used. I, I really judge sticks on is the blade. The blade has to be super stiff. I, I absolutely hate, hate, hate the fact that a lot of companies have really flexible bla blades where you take a face off or you take a slap shot or a wrist shot and the blade torsions this way or flexes outward. How are you supposed to have accuracy with that? Obviously you're not. 
and you lose the puck or you lose the puck feel. With this blade, nothing. I've actually been working really hard at trying to break this blade. Obviously it hasn't worked uh, properly since it's still there. I figured if I'm going to test it so I can do a review on it, I might as well abuse it. I've slammed it on the boards, slammed it on players' shins, you know. Slammed it on the crossbar, I'm still here. So this blade is just phenomenal. The feel of the puck does not go away. It stayed the same from out of the box until a couple of days ago when I last played my game. You still feel the pop, the puck just flies right off. You feel every single pass from right here to right here. You absolutely feel the puck. There's no way that you're just ever going to take a shot with this or anything like that. And it's just going to feel damp. When a blade starts feeling damp on you, it's no longer a blade. Of course, this does have a foam core, okay? This is not going to be made out of solid steel. This is a foam core blade, but it's a pretty high density foam core. Sherwood's not going to give you some sort of crappy uh, foam core that's just going to fall apart on you. Uh, what it does is you can actually feel it where it dampens any type of vibration. You receive the puck and you start to kind of feel in other sticks where the, the blade will actually vibrate and you feel it up the shaft. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded inappropriate. Uh, where you feel it in your hands. You will have more control. You will feel the puck. I can feel the puck at the heel. I can feel the puck at the end of the toe. Wherever you go, you're going to know where the puck is. The more control you have, the better it's going to be. Now, let's talk a little bit about the shaft. The shaft is more of a square. It's like a soft square. It's not a hard square. Of course, if you know about hockey sticks, you know that that will actually affect the stick. The stiffness, that is. It says 95 flex, it feels more like a 97, 98. Whereas other brands, if they say 95 flex, it's gonna feel like a 95. It's gonna feel kinda of whippy, and you're definitely going to know that it is a 95 flex. This one has stayed constant. And one thing that I really like about this is a lot of companies, they fuse it right here. And this one, the shaft spear runs from here to here. It's all one sock weave, it's all one piece. And what it really does for you is the heel, which is the shaft, is touching the ice. It also comes into contact with the puck. Therefore, it allows you to have more control the more control you have, of course, like I said about the blade, the better it is going to be. Uh, the really cool part about it is they build a little bit of a, a contour, not a contour, like a taper right here. If you look at the taper, it's going to remind you a little bit of the Widow taper. I'd say this taper is like the Widow taper, but improved, you know, to be much, much, much better. It takes everything. It also keeps the blade from flexing outward. It, it you know builds against back torque because it doesn't just happen on the blade. It really happens right there too. You can feel it on a lot of sticks. You can tell the uh, the weave. It's pretty cool. It kind of reminds you of one thing. If you know about pro stock sticks, it's going to remind you of the G3. But I've used the G3. I've used the 195. I've used the Total One. The G3 felt kind of damn to me, it felt kind of dead. This one just never stops having any pop. I've let a couple of people use it when they've come over to visit, when we go to the rink, and uh, two of those guys have already converted to it. That goes to speak on its own. I could sit here and talk about this stick all day, and God forbid, that's all I do on Proclaimed. Every time somebody asks, you know, about a stick, you better believe I'm going to be mentioning the Sherwood T100. Now, another thing about this stick is its weight. A lot of people always comment on the weight because it's so light. Oh, it's so light. It's going to break. Don't worry about it. I've done everything I can to break it. 
it's still there. Also, notice how it's a pretty tall stick. It's a 60, 60 inch stick. Um, another cool part about it, some companies do it, some companies don't. It's got the flex free zone right here, about four inches where you can cut it off and it's not gonna hamper the, uh, hamper the flex, sorry. The thing just looks beautiful. Now you can talk about how light it is all day, but let's not because I don't want to take away from the actual product itself. This is a stick that should and could sell itself. It's the perfect height. You don't even need, you know, with every other stick I've ever used, I always, always, always have to buy a plug. I have, and I can count it for you, I'll take a video sometime. I have four inch, three inch, two inch, half an inch, well, not really half an inch. One inch, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think an eight and a ten inch plugs just for all the sticks. I can, and literally they all say Bauer or Warrior. That's how you can tell which one was ever used for. So if I ever get another so and so X stick, I can look over and go, okay, I have a Bauer. Here we go. And put that one in there. Sherwood really did it just right for this shaft. It's the perfect balance and um, you don't have to worry about it being blade heavy. It's not blade heavy, it's not shaft heavy, it's perfectly balanced. I could take it on this finger or these fingers and just balance the middle of the shaft. Find the point of balance and just walk around the house with it. This is the type of stick that my son actually walks up to, grabs it, and he walks around the entire house with it, just loves it hitting everything in sight with it, but it's light, up, it's light enough that a one-year-old can play with it. And he's been playing with it since we got it when he was about eight months old. So, uh, no, six months old, yeah. As far as the blade, I'm gonna rate that 10 out of 10. For the shaft and the flex, the way the response is, the kick point to it, phenomenal. Wherever your hand is, due to the true touch technology, it creates a little bit of a flex point and a kick point right off of there. So I could be stick handling with my hands up here and my other hand up here and automatically I could take a shot, it creates a flex. And it's gonna put a really good amount of torque into it. That's the best part. The fact that you can take a good quality hard shot without having to properly load because not every time you do have the opportunity to do it. Because it stayed constant since I got it back in February or March. I cannot remember. I think it was February. Yes, it was. It, it makes me so happy to say this is the first time I've ever graded the shaft and the flex of any stick a 10 out of 10. Again, I'm not trying to sound like a homer. I would give them some negative feedback, and I will probably. And uh, you'll see later on. But easily, this is the best kick point stick I've ever used. I thought my total one, my 195 just as a total one, my pro stock, was easily the best stick I've ever used. This one blew it out of the water. Completely blew it out of the water. I've been really used shafts that ever, you know, felt right in my hands. Uh, I used to have a lot of hand issues when I was younger. I got my hand smashed by a car door. Long story. And so a lot of shafts, the way they feel, the square or rounded shape to it can be really awkward. This one, right at home, right at home. Look at that, it's broken, Jesus. Let's move it over here. Let's move over to stick handling. I'm gonna give this one about a 9.5 out of 10 because a lot of times when I'm trying to stick handle in the corners, you know, where there's a lot of guys kind of piling in together against you, um, it starts because it starts creating a little bit of the kick point and the tape, um, you know, uh, wherever your hand is, you'll accidentally fire the puck at someone while you're all on the boards. And uh, I had the puck fly off of someone's, you know, skate and hurt another guy. Um, not too much, it was just kind of like, ow, but. Uh, that, that would be my only gripe, is to kind of make that a little stiffer, the taper zone. 
because technically it's supposed to be a high to mid tape, high to mid kick point, but when you're taking shots, you can totally tell where the real kick point is going to be. That's where it steps up. So about a 9.5, 9.6, just because when you're stick handling, it kind of starts creating almost a shot. So when you take a pass, you feel the stick flex a little, or when you, sh when you throw a pass, you're basically shooting it at someone's stick. And I know passes are supposed to be hard and on the blade, but when you're teaching, it's, it's going to have a, a bit of a consequence. And uh, I've accidentally fired a couple of pucks at people, but they got over it. They have gear and I tell them to man up. Now the shooting, oh man, 9.9 .9 out of 10. The best shooting stick I've ever used. Wherever you are, like I said, it's going to create the point, the kick point. Wherever you are, uh, you could be skating, you can turn around, you could throw your backhand. This thing will fire off a rocket. You could kill someone with it, you know, on the scoreboard. Not, you know, physically. I'm sure you could, but who cares? We're not going to talk about that. The flex profile for the shaft, like I said, is supposed to be middle to low mid, a little bit more high. That's what I was told. So this stick is going to be explosive on all shots. Wrist shots, which is of course my repertoire. Um, slap shots. I thought I thought I had a hard slap shot. Um, this this is uh, this magnifies it. And one timers. If you love taking one timers, and uh, everybody loves using the you know the 195 or the total one because it's supposed to be great because Steven Stamkos uses it. Give this stick a try. My God, you'll never score a sweeter one-timer than this one. And the control it gives you just in the one-timer, unbelievable. The durability, this is where I really want to focus. Especially for the fact that I've had it for so long and like I said, I've been trying to break it. Let's see if I can get a close-up of it. That's uh, someone stepping on it. Nothing. That's a guy kicking it. Just the paint. Amazing. Fantastic. I really want to spend a good amount of time on this because I want you guys to see. This is, I play in front of the net. I, I'm in the goalie's kitchen. And um, this is all the damage that it suffered from guys slashing the crap out of my stick trying to knock it off. And uh, I've gotten a lot more aggressive in front of the net because of this. Look at the heel, all right? I want you to take a look at the heel. This is all the damage it's gotten. I've slammed this stick on the ice so hard because I lost my crap uh, during a game and nothing. I mean, really? Here we go. Here's a development. This is from this Sunday from when that guy kicked me and I fell awkwardly and then he got up and he stepped on it. That's it. That too. That's the most damage on this stick. The blade, of course, not a single chip. This has lasted uh, twice a week with CVH, then going to regular pickup. I've been really trying to beat the crap out of this stick. I mean, three, four, five times a week, as much as I could. Sometimes, you know, because I got sick a couple of times, I missed about two or three weeks. Then I got the concussion, I missed two weeks. But no big, no big loss there. That's all the damage. There's nothing on the shaft. I inspected the shaft. And there was nothing there. So the durability, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. This is the first time I've ever given a stick a 10 out of 10 as far as durability. Well deserved. Easily the best stick Sherwood has ever made. And I'm pretty sure they're going to come out with something even better. I'm also working on the review for the next Sound 12. That one's going to be pretty exciting because that's a different type of stick. And I really want to find out how it performs. So far, I'm enjoying it.
But oh my god, once you're used to the T100, I can't even use the Nexus 1000 that I got that I was gifted. Um, I recently tried the RBZ line. I tried a couple of pro stocks and retail. You saw my other video of me sending them away. That's how bad they were compared to the T100. Sherwood really did good with this one. It looks very uniform, like a suit and tie. With the red on one side and all black on the other, this thing is perfect. Just perfect. I get a lot of people who always ask me, hey man, that stick looks real nice. How does it perform? How do I get it and where do I get it? Like a suit. It calls attention because it looks good. I'm talking good looking style. In conclusion, I'm just going to give it an overall score of 9.8, 9.7, 9.8 out of 10. Uh, this is the best stick I've ever used. I'm a firm believer that nothing is perfect. And by far, this one comes very close to it as far as sticks. It's really hard to find very many major faults in it. And of course, would I recommend this stick to anyone? Absolutely. Matter of fact, go, 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 buy it. At the price that this goes for, Sherwood did it right again. I thought the RM19 was the best stick I've ever used. This one, by far, by far, is my number one, my number two, and my number three stick. Because nothing really beats it. So go out and get it. Thank you again, Sherwood. I'm really proud to have been able to use this stick. I feel like it's a great privilege. And I hope you guys like this. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you would like some better pictures of the curve, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Well, no, don't call me. Just, you know, write to me and uh, I'll answer as best as I can. You know where to find me. I'm on Proclaimed. I have my own Facebook. <laughs> uh, the, the review, the written one, will be on the blog here pretty soon. And, of course, uh, you'll be watching this on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't hesitate to hit me up. I will be more than glad to answer any questions. Thank you all.